A lot of farms in the Midwest and on the West Coast, they're huge industrial farms. They do it all with chemicals and machines, whereas a local farm, they take care of their soil and they grow the food for the flavor. We work with a fairly small farm. Our farm, it's an organic farm. A lot of the greens that you buy now in the grocery store, those greens are grown hydroponically. They're never near soil. They feed the nutrients the plant needs into the water, and they don't have the same taste as food that's grown in soil. Good soil is teeming with microorganisms, and that supports the plant and the roots, and you can taste the difference. I'm here for a fruit pickup. Thank you. We started Dutch Kills because we wanted to be able to choose the farmers. We get our produce and our fruits from Hepworth Farms, which is many generations in the Hudson. It's women owned and run. Fabulous farm, really good quality. The CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture. And we started six years ago in 2016. And the idea is to provide a place where people can buy fresh local vegetables. They sign up in the spring to buy a whole season's worth of vegetables, actually half a year's worth of vegetables. Every week they come, they get a box of vegetables, and if they bought a fruit share, they get a fruit share. We have a mushroom share. We have all kinds of extras. So these are really beautiful, rare mushrooms. Um, they're grown by two gentlemen in Rigo Park, and they call themselves the Mushroom Queens. These are Italian oysters and these are golden oysters. We do a little video segment every week that talks about unusual things in the box or how to prepare them. Susan, what the heck is this? It's a special pear. It is a special pear. Go on. It's a extremely delicious pear. It's called the DeVoe pear. We also have hands-on workshops and we have a rich online log of videos for how to make strawberry jam or canned tomatoes, even make cocktail syrup. Fresh garlic, this is green garlic. It's milder than regular garlic, it's so delicious. We wanted to be a nonprofit and offer low income shares. You have to pay for the entire season ahead of time. And for people who can't afford that, we do have a income survey and people can pay half price for an equity share. Because we're not just a place where people can get local produce at a good value. We also wanted to be educationally and community minded so that other people in the community could have the same produce that we're getting and that they could learn interesting ways to cook with it.